Paula Wilson is a multimedia artist who uses paint, collage, film, installation, and printmaking as explorations of myth, race, gender, sexuality, and the natural world. There is no separation between art and life for Wilson, who makes all of her clothes and furniture with her partner. Wilson is a co-founder of the MoMA Zozo and of the Carazozo Artist in Residency. I grew up in Chicago and then went to school in St. Louis and moved back to Chicago and then New York. And so I moved to Carrizozo, New Mexico from Bushwick, Brooklyn. So there was this massive reality shift that happened right away. And when I think about what inspires me about being in New Mexico, it's so obvious to talk about the landscape and the sky and the openness. But one thing that I don't think it's talked about enough is what's missing. Actually, the lack of distraction in Carrizozo has been a huge source of inspiration. I'm able to actually hear my creative voice in a way that I just can't in an urban environment. Another thing that's so amazing about the openness of New Mexico is the ability to have open arms. I mean, like I said, I live in a place of about 900 people in the high desert plains, and there's a real lack of diversity. And so one thing that's been important in my life is to bring people to Carrizozo. So we have an artist in residency program called Carrizozo Air, which brings artists into the town. And that kind of circulation of people and ideas is so crucial. We're really excited to have Kiana be an artist in our 2021 Carrizozo Air season. It's so lovely to hear that I or my way of life has been an inspiration. And it, it feels sort of odd to hear that because it's such a two-directional form of in inspiration. I'm inspired by all the artists in this show and I feel perpetually honored to be an artist in that we get to see each other's artwork and we get to know each other. In seeing your work, in being able to share my work, there's a kind of reciprocal fuel that keeps me going. I have not always been somebody who really tries to integrate my art in life. When I look back at the younger Paula Wilson, she thought that paying attention to my outward appearance distracted from myself as an artist. And I couldn't be more different from that today. For me, fashion is political. The role of an artist is not just to make discrete objects for the marketplace. The role of the artist, for me, is to integrate life in art, to live my life as a work of art. I wanted to be more masculine, that the artists that I saw that were taken seriously were men. And so to dress uh, flamboyantly even appeared antithetical to what a serious artist looked like. And the desire to be taken seriously meant that you couldn't have a sense of joy, a sense of, um, of wonder and celebration. It's nice to be thought of as a prolific artist, and yet that's not at all how I envision myself. For me, the act of making is super chaotic, unorganized, and so much of what I make feels like it goes by the wayside or doesn't actually come to fruition in terms of a finished piece. The figure in Reflected was made to be in the centerpiece of From the Ground Up, but it didn't fit. I started working on it and it, I made it too large. And then that, became another piece totally unbeknownst to me. So there's this kind of act throughout my day of rediscovery and pulling things back that I made years ago and pulling them into, into works for it today.
To be put together and to be in this community of voices is so powerful. And I feel a sense of belonging in this grouping that I didn't know I was a part of. <laughs>